Hey, Arnold. Are you buying a lottery ticket? Yeah, what's that smell? You can't smell that? Ooh, that sucks. The chance of being attacked by a stinky skunk is about 10 times higher than winning the grand prize in the lottery. Arnie, old buddy, old pal, you're in luck. Doctors have managed to improve your sense of smell by transplanting onto you a dog's nose. Of course, you need to get used to it first. But hey, now you don't even need to use a filter in Snapchat. A dog's sense of smell is a hundred or even a thousand times better than a human's. And a doggy nose can smell a smell at a distance of one kilometer from its source. With a dog nose, you can even determine a person's physiological and emotional state. However, it's better not to fool around with cleaning products. The smells of vinegar, ammonia, and chlorine are especially unpleasant for a dog's nose. Whoopsie daisy, Arnold, I think you better run away. Pretty cool, yeah? Dogs are macrosomes, meaning they actually live in a world of smells. For them, their sense of smell is like vision for us. So it's not that bad to have a dog's sense of smell, is it, Arnie? One milliliter of water contains 3.35 times 10 to the 22nd power molecules. A dog's sense of smell can detect among all those molecules a single chosen molecule of a substance. So with such a nose, you can always find the most delicious pizza. Or pretend to be a psychic and find people for money or even get a job as a king's bodyguard. But wait, instead, you're buying a lottery ticket again? Wait, listen, do you hear something? Incinerating ants, are you, Arnold? Does this make you feel like a god? You underestimate the enemy. Wow, what an irony. The hunter has become the prey. Arnold, congratulations! You're now at the center of the most colossal war on a scale larger than all the wars of humanity combined. Ten quadrillion ants participate in it. Have you ever even seen such a number? And what numbers have you seen? Oh. Look over there. The ants are preparing for battle. If ants became human-sized, then humanity wouldn't stand a chance. After ah. all, even an ordinary ant would be able to lift a 16-story building and run with it on its back at a speed of 55 kilometers an hour. <gasps> and here come the guests. Um, run maybe, Arnold? Uh. Oh, Arnold, coordination in space ah. has never been your forte. <gasps> Although, look, you made them run in a circle and pointed the leader at his own pheromone trail. If this happens to ants, they fall into a death trap. You created an ant swirl. The leader will now hit his troops in a circle until they all die from exhaustion. You're a hero for these guys, Arnold. They want to introduce you to the ant queen. But what is this? Oh, you've got to fight for power. Sometimes a second queen may appear in the anthill. As a result of that, the two queens hold a duel between themselves, deciding who will get to rule the anthill. After the fight, the ants determine which queen they like the best. True democracy. And then the majority destroys the minority. I take my words about democracy back. Watch out! Arnold, you're truly lucky. You managed to survive even a coup d'etat. But what is this? You're saturated with the smell of corpses, and now the ants all see you as dead. Therefore, they're going to bury you alive. Arnold was a useless schmuck. May he rest in peace. Nothing could make this picnic any worse. Except giant ants. Where the heck did they come from? Experiments from Area 51, maybe. The insane antics of a mad scientist. Or did Shaquille O'Neal bite an ant, making it huge? Well, it doesn't matter when there are millions of ants around the size of a dog. Fact. Every year, ants kill more people than leopards. A 20 million strong army of scafu ants can consume an entire horse in a day.
And they always bite simultaneously. Ah! And their jaws are so powerful that they're even used as clamps for wounds. <laughs> Be careful, Arnie. This ant can lift up to 1,500 pounds. You can reach speeds of up to 35 miles per hour. You can't hide, Arnie. There are 20 quadrillion ants on Earth. That's two and a half million ants per person. In reality, ants have already occupied 501 square miles of U.S. land. That's 15% of the entire territory. Every year, ants cause economic damage of over $6 billion. They gnaw through wires and electrical devices. It took the giant ants just a few months to conquer the Earth. And where once Ohio stood, there's now a massive anthill. Humanity has only one option, to enlarge an even more terrifying predator to fight the ants. Imagine a five-eyed creature with a deadly sting. This monster is a wasp. Thanks to its five eyes, it sees everything within a 280-degree radius. And because of the design of its flexible waist, the wasp can sting you from almost any angle. What a letdown. Wasps don't fight ants. They only compete with them for food. They're only interested in their nest, food, and beer. Really, don't invite a wasp to a birthday party. Why didn't scientists just enlarge anteaters? Arnie, wake up! Shaq didn't bite anyone. You just fell asleep on an anthill. But that said, even regular ants can be dangerous. In front of you is Toxorhynchites, the largest mosquito on the planet with a wingspan of 12 centimeters. Don't be afraid, dummy. It doesn't need your blood. This species feeds on the nectar of flowers. Be careful, there are ants in here. And what's this? Did you know that mosquito saliva contains enzymes to anesthetize the victim and drink his blood discreetly? But the females don't need the blood for themselves. They feed babies with it. And yes, only females drink blood, and males feed on flower pollen. Better not breathe. A hungry female will smell the CO2 you exhale from 20 meters, and the menthol gum won't help you. They still find you by the heat of your body. But even a thousand mosquitoes can't suck out all your blood. It'll take a million and a hundred thousand hungry insects. Oh no, Arnold, you disturbed the bullet ant colony. When it bites, a burn is formed on the skin, equal in pain to direct contact with fire. The neurotoxin panerotoxin enters the bloodstream, which attacks the nervous system, paralyzes the limbs, and causes excruciating muscle spasms lasting up to 36 hours. From the bite of a thousand ants, you'll get so much neurotoxin that you'll experience hallucinations and problems with the supply of oxygen to your organs. But but you will survive. In the tribes of South America, in this way, a boy is initiated into a man. Now you're a real man, Arnold. You deserve likes and subscriptions to the channel. Oh, I completely forgot. Mosquitoes carry diseases from sick animals, such as malaria, dengue, and Zika. They're responsible for a million deaths every year. So even one mosquito can kill you. They have the title of the deadliest insects for a reason. Ooh, you have a serious battle there. Oops, didn't expect a little fly to get in your way, did ya? Hey, Arnold, I don't recommend messing with them. Who knows what they could do? Oddly enough, flies can harm humans, and the most dangerous species are found in South and Central America, as well as in Africa. For example, the bot fly, which breeds larvae inside animals. Ew. Or the horse stomach bot fly, a fly that gorges on horses. After penetrating inside the animal, the larvae begin to build nests right there in the stomach and intestines. Yuck. 
Then there's the sheep nose bot fly, a fly that lays larvae and sheep. They develop inside and then eat all the internal organs on their way through. But there's nothing more terrible than the larva man bot fly, a fly larva that chows down on humans. The fly eats only human meat and is particularly fond of savoring human flesh and especially brains. Yikes! Most often, the larvae enter the body with food and through open wounds, but they can also quietly slip in through the mouth, eyes, and ears. And now imagine if there could be tens of thousands of such larvae inside your body right now. I bet just two to three days would be enough to eat all your insides. There are just two ways to survive these little buggers without using special drugs. The first is to cover the affected area with fresh bacon. No, really. Then the larvae will crawl out to its scent. The second way is to cover the penetration site with a thick layer of Vaseline. Due to a lack of oxygen, the larvae will get stuck and suffocate. It worked! Arnie, you're still alive! But you do kind of look like Swiss cheese now. Then again, I bet you'll be just a little more careful with flies from now on, won't you, buddy? What could be more wonderful than a summer walk in the park? We don't choose our destiny, it chooses us. Arnold, look out! Wow, looks like someone spilled radioactive waste here. Hey, Arnold, now you can be a superhero! Did you know that Marvel's Wolverine was originally gonna be called Badger Man? So in this case, you are Beef Skunk Pecker Man. Cool, this is the first time in history when a superhero has three superpowers. But you're not the only one with superpowers, Arnie. For example, a sword master from Japan, East Sao Machi is able to cut a bullet traveling at a speed of 320 kilometers per hour. Slavisha Pajkic from Serbia can literally handle 20,000 volts of electricity, and he can also cook food by running electric current through his body. Wim Hof from the Netherlands is able to withstand below zero temperatures for hours and even climb Mount Everest in his underpants. What about you, Arnold? Wow, congratulations! I see you've gained the ability to hammer nails with your skull, build dams, and even breed superflies on your own body. But seriously, if you think your superpowers are ludicrous, check out DC Comics' Dog Welder, whose power is to weld dogs to his enemies. Zeitgeist from the X-Men, after an all-night drinking binge, discovered he had the ability to puke acid. Did you know Batman's net worth is $98 billion? Seems like being a superhero can be a very lucrative business. And the very first copy of the Superman comic book was sold at auction for three and a half million dollars. And judging by the number of requests on Google, Spider-Man is now more popular than the president of the United United States. Arnold, I know this is very cool. Hey! After tasting the foods of Asia and Europe, he returned home to try something even more exotic. Get your ass down here and choose what you'll eat first. Come on, Arnold. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. One bite from a baby cobra can kill a three-ton elephant. There's almost no air in its stomach. But when diving, snakes can hold their breath for up to 10 hours. Gastric juices will digest it in one and a half to two hours, as if it was a chicken. Everything that remains will have to go through the anus. Oh, look, it's venom. If it doesn't contact with your blood, it can't harm you. What the hell? Though as soon as it gets into an ulcer or a cut, the venom's effects are instant. Paralysis, convulsions, and after 15 minutes, you're a goner. But only if you don't use an antidote. Okay, who let the frog in? One gram of Philo 
Bates' Terribilis venom can kill a whole city worth of people. Should a small animal step on the trail of this frog, the toxin will kill him instantly. Even if you get a small drop of the poison on your skin, boom, you're dead. The frog will pass out 30 seconds after getting into the stomach, and 10 minutes of painful death will be waiting for you. And an antidote for this poison doesn't exist, so you can stop looking. And if a scorpion's poison is added to the philobate's poison, its strength will increase by 12 times. Any last wishes? Do you want the viewers to subscribe and leave a like? I see. Doesn't matter. Thanks for watching. Bye.